Hello, Hello there. there. I'm Robert. And I'm Vanessa. We are late to the party. Move over, Avengers. It's time for Disney's first supers. And they're incredible. Feels like forever. For us, it has been, well, we're pushing towards a year uh, yeah. since we saw that amazing footage from D23. Wasn't even finished. They use a lot of little computer generated placeholders to kind of fill out the story, but it was amazing. And for the rest of everybody else, it was that fun little Jack Jack wandering around through the, uh, basically the Incredibles logo. Yes, and it was cute and just enough to tell you, hey, there's an Incredibles movie coming. So it's been like since 2004, since the first Incredibles movie came out. And I absolutely love the first one because it was something very fresh and new to Pixar. And ba back when they're like at the height of Pixar, basically. Yeah. And Brad Bird did an amazing job with the first one. Did an amazing job, and now he's coming back again to treat, you know, us treat to us. a second helping of The Incredibles. So let's get into the sneak peek. It's a trailer length, though, like a minute and a half. So let's get into that now. Behold the Undermeyer! <laughs> <laughs> right I after we, we were going to go. You heard your mother trampoline it. <laughs> <laughs> Superheroes are illegal. We want to fight bad guys. I you mean bad guys. It depends who I am. We're not Get saying me. you have. What? Someone on TV said it. <laughs> now the Ghost Bad's tycoon wants to talk about yes. hero stuff. Help me bring supers back into the sunlight. We need Elastigirl. Bob Lodicate. Oh, it is Bob Lodicate. No right. problem. Supposed to do it, Dad. They want us to do it. I don't way. know that way. Why would they change math? Math, math, math is math. Oh, Dizzles are. Dizzles are delicious. God, it's so heavy. Dad, true pain. Oh, look at Jack. Close it! <laughs> I could have done this if you hadn't taken over so well. I've got to succeed, so she can succeed. Oh, so we can succeed. I get it, Bob. What the? <laughs> that is freaky. But I can't keep giving him cookies. Oh, 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 no, no, no. no biting a daddy. <laughs> properly, parenting is a heroic yeah. act. Done properly. <laughs> <laughs> and it's gonna come in uh teach him how to be Mr. Mom essentially. That's, yeah. what, that's what it is. Yeah. Oh, that's good. I love bringing like that little take of Mr. Mom yeah. there. It's time for Elastigirl to go to work this time. Right. And he has to stay home. Well, starting from the beginning, we have the Underminer. Yes. Which that's what I wanted to see with the uh, the Incredibles was. The world, the villains, let's get into that. I'm glad that they showed that, that too, because then it kind of shows like, okay, so we're starting off right where it kind of left off from the first film. Right. And then I wonder if there will be like a time jump, like they'll start the movie off that way, and then there'll be like a tiny little time jump from that time to where they are now in the movie. Well, Jack was wearing an outfit at Just that a little point, though. Time. So I don't, I'm wondering if maybe... The Underminer is a presence that's been kind of looming yeah, for they, a little they, while. Yeah, but he had one. Did he? I don't, I don't. I don't. I don't remember. Like I have to go back and watch it if Jack had it. Otherwise, yeah, because it, remember she was showing her like when he's like running with like when she's showing her all the the things and it had the he's crawling. Right, but I don't remember if he was wearing it in the movie when they no. went up against the Underminer. But I'm just saying he already had it. Right, and that's the thing is it existed because Edna right. had a, a suit for him already. Right. And now he's going to make full use of it, essentially, uh, all the powers that he has. He's just a smorgasbord. He's basically uh, uh, Zachary Quinto in Heroes. He just absorbs everybody else's. Was it Siler? Yeah, Siler. he's Siler. Yeah. He's, he's just absorbing, or, or Peter Petrelli, he's just absorbing all the powers and makes him super powerful. But, uh, uh, yeah, I'm really excited to see this different dynamic as, like, a Mr. Mom yeah. type feeling. And I, I'm so excited for the new uh, voices that are coming in, like Bob Odenkirk. Yes. Love Bob Odenkirk, so I'm really excited to see what he brings in. And, of course, you got Frozone with uh, Samuel Jackson. Samuel Jackson. 
in there. So I'm really excited for that. Where's my super suit? <laughs> he came out on stage too at D23 with the rest of the cast, which yeah. is really exciting. Which to is see kind that. of funny because he came out for Incredibles, right. and then the next day they did uh, the Avengers like Infinity thing, and he wasn't there for that. So it's like, okay. Nick Fury gets no love. But then again, he's not. Well, they haven't confirmed, but he's not, like, in the movie, so... That's true. But then we have, uh, yeah, Bob Odenkirk, which we're really excited for, because he's getting a lot of love right now, and Bob Odenkirk deserves it. But he's kind of taken over maybe more of, like, the positive Wallace Shawn from the first one, where Wallace Shawn just was, like, the bane of freaking Mr. Incredible's existence. He hated his boss so much. And then maybe Bob Odenkirk is just going to be bubbly, and we're going to make everything good, and this is, we need Elastigirl. And then, like, he's going to be the best boss ever, or he's just in it for that small part. Or... He, he's the villain. He is like kind of the villain, but he doesn't like, you know, he he wants this to happen, but he's doing it in a way that he sees fits, whereas like us looking out from behind the glass basically is like, yeah. well, this guy's kind of a jerk. Yep. It's so, very possible. We shall see. He'll right. have a Timothy Green poster in his <laughs> the office. The odd life of Timothy Green. It's like butter, <laughs> like butter. Uh, but yeah, that's... <laughs> I, I'm glad we know nothing about that. We don't know who the old ultra arch nemesis is going to be in this one. They didn't even tell us at D23 what's going on, or yeah. if they did, forgot. Uh, but, well, they told us a little bit that it was going to be focusing more on what Elastic Girl is right. going to be doing. But, but even then, the that, family's got to go out yeah, and help her. But other than that, they haven't told us like who the main villain is, yeah. who is going to. So uh, I'm really looking forward to the Incredibles and the music's back, so we can't wait to see yes. and hear more from Incredibles Two. So thank you so much for watching our reaction to the sneak peek trailer for The Incredibles 2. It's definitely a trailer. What did you guys think? Let us know in the comments below. You could also like, you could subscribe. You could do the thing on our Facebook, Twitter, Tumblr, Instagram, Stardust. All the social networking gin joints, you know where they are, kicking the party, fuel the party, keep the party going at our Patreon. Guess us where we need to go. We also just did an episode of Under the Capes. No capes. Under the no. Capes is a, a channel and a website that we actually appeared on, had a nice little conversation with Tim from Under the Capes, uh, and it was a lot of fun. So you could check that out in all the locations down in the description below as well. But other than that, now it's time to say goodbye. And this party's this over. Over. over.